Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick ACAD001 titled Drawing Templates. The purpose of this tip and trick is to help enhance your skills and share with you the solutions to problems that other users experience in their day to day work. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk, then please contact our customer services on 01784 419911 or email customer dot services at cadline.co.uk. All tips and tricks can also be found on our website at www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we are also issuing tips and tricks for all other Autodesk products as well as the one you're about to watch. Now first of all let me introduce you to the standard AutoCAD templates. You can find these by clicking on file and going to new. By default, your computer will take you to the location that the templates are kept. Here I'm going to click on the standard ACAD ISO. You can see it's a drawing template. It's a DWT file. This will open a blank drawing containing only information on the standard ISO units. These can be found here. As you can see, all the settings are already set. It's in decimal millimeters etc. There's no other information, there's no layers, dimensions or textiles in this drawing as it comes out of the box. We're going to add our own to this, creating our own company standard template containing all the layers that you would possibly like to use in all of your drawings. So first of all I'm going to add a couple of layers. I'm going to go to the layer manager, layer properties box, this comes up in a palette. And I'm going to click here to add my first layer. I'm going to simply create a layer called new walls. I'm going to tell it what colour I want it to come on. I'm going to pick green. The line type continuous. Line weight, line weight I'm going to set as 0.5 millimeter. And I'm going to tell it to print. I'm also going to set a layer for my doors. I'm going to show that on yellow and the line weight I'm going to set at 0.25 and just one more a layer for windows and that one I'm going to give red and also 0.25 once I've done I simply come out of the palette click here to see that those layers are in the board I'm not going to go to my annotate tab on my ribbon and I'm going to create some multi-line text. As you can see, as standard there comes a standard style and also an annotated style. By clicking here, we can then create our own styles. We click on new. And I'm just going to call it text. I'm going to click here to make it annotated. I'm going to just choose aerial and regular. And by clicking here, I'm going to put 2.5, this will also already default to 2.5 millimeters for the text style, for the text size, sorry, upon um, starting any new multiply text. If I apply that and close, you can see that in here now my stand, my text style is here as default. I'm now going to create one dimension style. I'm going to click on new. I'm just going to start off with the ISO 25, but I'm just going to start a new one and call it dimensions. And I'm going to make that annotated also. Here we come into our modify. Just to choose some different styles of how I want my dimensions to look. I'm just going to keep all of this information here at default, except I'm going to change some of the sizes. Just having a play around to get the dimension up in the way that I want. I'm going to go in and change some of the symbols and arrows. Arrow size is OK. The text size, here I'm going to change it to my text. As you see here, I'm setting 2.5 as our default, it already comes in as our text height. Fit. There's no scaling involved because I'm making it annotated. And the primary units are decimal, I'm going to make the precision to no decimal places. 
So they're all the basic modifications. I'm going to OK that, set it as current, and close. And as you can see, that is now there in our styles. On doing that, if I go to File, Save As, instead of saving it as a drawing, if we come down to the bottom here, we have the option here to click a DWT file. If we click on that DWT file, it will take us back to our template location folder. I can then name it. I'm just going to name this as Master. Click Save. Here we can add a little bit of information about a description. So we've got company standards. Make okay, it metric. OK. Once I've done that, I'm going to come out of that door. Now, if I go to my file location again, click on New, that is automatically in there. If I double click on that, go to our home, as you can see, the layers that we created are already in here. Go to our annotate tab, our textiles and dimension styles. They're all in here as well. As you see, by using this template, you can ensure that every drawing that you start will contain all of this information, meaning that you don't have to recreate this information every time. This will help save time in the future. I hope this has been a, has been a help for you. I look forward to speaking to you again next time.